I'm not sure they could have actually made this box any bigger if they tried, to be honest. Looking forward to this one. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another unboxing, well, yes, let's have a good model review, shall we say. This time it's the Revell Space Shuttle Discovery and Booster Rockets Pack from, well, yeah, obviously from Revell. It's a 1 144th scale, which means it works out at 43.7 centimetres, which also means, uh, take my turn. It's actually smaller than the box, so 44 centimetres, yeah. It, it, that's okay that way around, but this is going up here. And to be honest, the top of the box to the camera ain't far off the lens. So this is gonna be a quite a decent size model once it's built. This isn't me building this now, this is just doing an unboxing. I want to do this later on in the year. At the moment, it's too cold in here anyway, so it's just, you know, it's winter. But I'll show you, because I actually bought this for myself for Christmas. If you want to actually buy something like this for me as well, you know, just a little hint, then please get in touch. Descriptions, links are all in the description below. Right, so we have on the side here, shows some lots of detail work on the shuttle itself. That's how the boosters, it comes on the transporter. Shuttle there, lots of, looks like lots of stickers, decals on there. I don't think I can show you the side without it hitting the camera. Yes, there we go. There's, there is literally, it's the height between my desk and, and the camera. So yes, you can barely see that side. This side, gubbins, as soon as it comes out in focus. <coughs> gubbins and, and other stuff in, I think it's German, or is it Dutch, uh, French, English, yeah, Dutch, Dutch, yeah, whatever. And the other side, same as the other one. It's a skill level four, so if you're not that good at doing these, then fine, got that upside down, unfortunately, but that's the bottom of the box. Nothing much on there. So this is super, what? Oh, super decal. Again, don't know if you call these decals or decals. I'm sure, it's just a matter of perspective any, anyway. So, They've had this kit out for quite a while. I think probably mid 80s, maybe even earlier than that. I know the shuttle was, was designed in what, 75, 76? Launched when the Enterprise was 78, I think, but even though the Enterprise didn't go, launched 81, I think it was, with um, with Columbia. Rest her, rest her weary soul. And yes, it, it's, it's a bit now of space history. It's amazing that you, you can, be nowadays in space history that doesn't make any sense to me because I'm getting old right so what we have in the box is one two bags worth of goodies so we'll go through that in a second shall we Can I pull this a little bit better out of the way yeah so we have the butler here showing the space little discovery all instructions, we have some stickers and some more instructions. So, we, oh, hold on, oh, that's jumping right to the end. Okay, so I'll tell you about with glue, about with holding things, give you some tips on how to, to make the kit, parts. So it looks like we start off straight away with a shuttle. It's a little bit less detailed than I actually was hoping there, because it goes straight into just two sec sections there, the shuttle it goes into place. You don't glue this bit in place, Maybe that's a flap that can move. Part there, 101. Windows, if this is darker, then maybe there's a possibility of putting lighting in here. Hopefully. Page two, let's have a look out there. More instructions on the tail. You glue that in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's 14 instructions. Actually, there's more because you get landing gear legs. You look very standard legs that you get on aircraft model kits. So or put the legs, or you put the flaps up so it makes it look like it's coming into land, or you just completely cover over like the, the doors are shut and the, the wheels are inside. I'll determine that when I actually make my own. If you want to make your own like that, it's entirely up to you. So 25 
Oh, it's got a payload as well. I think I actually read somewhere on Amazon that the, the weird thing about this is this this is this is nerd. This is nerd alert for somebody, but but absolutely spot on. Is the shuttle that this is meant to do the the actual mission of? I don't think it was Discovery, because I think this is supposed to be uh, like a Skylab or something or, or some. I don't know if I can read into the instructions. Da -da 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 -da. No, I can't read that at all. Boeing 747, yes. Orbiter. Yes, it's, it, that does give us a full history on the shuttle. There are plenty of videos on there, on, on YouTube. There are plenty of people more learned than I am on the space shuttle. So we have more instructions of the colours. Ah, oh, okay, for the painting. The thing that I wanted with this is with the decal sheet, decal sheet. Right, this looks quite nice. The thing with it is I'm a Trekkie, is I'm gonna make this as a mock-up of the Enterprise. I'm not gonna do Challenger, I'm not gonna do Columbia, God rest their souls, um, Atlantis, Endeavour, yes, May Discovery, uh, I think and a lot of them. For some reason in my head, Discovery is probably one of the most famous ones that still survives. But I, don't, I am probably wrong, but I'm going to make the Enterprise. The Enterprise was a mock-up on the actual uh, booster rockets for launching. It never got fitted with, with engines. It, it got moved around as a glider. It, it just was the test bed. And it's unfortunate. I mean, for all Trekkies out there, that the um, series of Enterprise, Star Trek Enterprise, was the first ship, the NX-01, was the Enterprise, which was the first space shuttle. The second one, the NX-02, was Columbia, which is, was, sorry, was the, um, yeah, why is it they've not got a Columbia or Challenger stickers on here? Atlantis Discovery Endeavour Enterprise. Why? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Hmm. Well, lots of other detailing work on there, little panels, little parts and stuff. Very, very nice colour in there. And they all just slide straight off when we get round to it. Got ESA, ah, because this is an ESA pod that goes onto this, European Space Agency. So, yeah, let's keep going through the instructions. We can make, yeah, we can Enterprise, Discovery, Atlantis, Endeavour, before, oh, right. Proper nerd alert. Okay, before 1998. Okay. I assume that there are sticker placements after 1998. What's the difference? Alternatively, yeah, yeah. Endeavour, yeah, yeah. I suppose. 13, 14. I can't see many different... parts after it. There's only, actually, with, with the Endeavour, you've got the USA flag. The Atlantis got the NASA flag with the USA on the opposite side. Is that all? You've got NASA there in America. Or the other way around, you've got NASA logo in America. I don't know. Possibly. I mean, maybe they got, I, I don't know the full history with the um, with the space shuttle anyway. I don't know NASA bought, got bought out by the, by the government or what. I don't know. So we've got the parts there for the actual rover the depart the, the, that brought it to the, the launch pad. There we go. And we have the booster rockets to put in place. Very quick instructions how to do that. It's like the fuel tank in the center. I will probably be making mine with booster rockets as normal, and I will be probably be painting this. I know that they did this with the first, with the first one or two shuttle launches where they painted the fuel tank white to make everything look white and then they decided to stuff it put the undercoat on as with like a rusty color and then left it which it's it's there's no point to be honest this this thing's going to burn up in atmosphere what's point in putting anything useful on it these came back and they were attempted to be reused you know, I assume that most things on, on the actual booster rockets were probably changed a million times over the, the history or whatever, or probably less than a million. But yeah, there you go, that's what it's going to look like afterwards. That's going to be pretty good. I think that's going to be quite good, that. So, let's get rid of that and into the bags. 
two bags here. Let's open the largest one first. There we go. So we have the underside of the launcher. We have some booster rockets. We have ah the wheels. These are wheels here, right? Nose cones for the actual boosters. I think these are the sides for here. So that's all on there. I understand you can't see that well. There we go. So that's that piece on there. He says while trying to arrange himself. There we go. Second bit is the booster rockets. Two booster rockets, the other front and back now for the the rover, the the, the walker, as we say. Looks like landing gear, possibly. Don't really know some of the bits maybe just just for attaching to yeah because they were the metal frames that were attached to the, the the actual fuel tank weren't they not just the landing gear looks like two small stands i don't know what they are definite booster rockets anyway let me get around to the, the fuel tank which it says it is easy enough to do i suppose that will just probably push fit together once these sprues have been taken off I mean, you see the size of this already. It ain't bad. It ain't a bad model at all. They did do um, revisions on this model over quite a few decades. I mean, this one, I hope, is the definitive version. Strange how there's a hole in the middle of that. I assume that this is there for a reason, because something will attach to it. Yeah, there's so many different revisions. It, it's the, like I said, the version for this is, because I wanted it because of the Enterprise just to pay homage, and I've got quite a few Enterprise models behind me anyway. Second bag. And we do have a third bag which has clear parts. So, why is there a clear dome there with the um, American continents there? Hmm, a couple of parts. There, it's like the cockpit window, so I can light it from inside. This is the thing with a lot of Star Trek models, what I love to do is light them up from the inside. It might not be much lighting on this, I don't think there's many running lights, but I can probably put something on the inside of the cabin so it would shine through and you'd be able to see it through this. But again, I don't know what that bit is for. Okay. That's now stuck to the bottom of there. Why have I brought these upside down again? So we have the starboard side of the shuttle. We have both wings. We have some, I guess that's the back, back corner there for the boosters to attach to. It's already broken off the sprue there. Some of the panel bits, that might be sectioned to here. That might be sectioned to here to show you the full cockpit on, well, the, the full cargo bay, should I say, on there. I'm actually looking forward to doing this now. Wheels over here in case you do that option. It's good to have a model kit with options. I do like that. You can make it as you want, how you want. Looks like that might be the interior to the... Yeah, interior to the shuttle bay, or the cargo bay, should we say. Doors, maybe? Some other... Whoa. Oh, it's... Oh, ow! Oh, can you see it? Hang on, there you go. Let's zoom you in. He's on a tether. It's, a, it's an astronaut on a tether. <laughs> That's not going to be good when it's um, going to be mounted. And this looks like he's, um, yeah, he's an engineer and he's, he's stuck to the outside of the shuttle. Because I want to make it as just it's it's on the launch pad. And I don't think he wants to be there, to be honest. So I might not put that on. Whatever that box is there for, I don't know. With the antenna, maybe? Don't know. We will just plod along with this. As a, as a video whenever I can get around to getting the carriage warmer. Looks like this is the pod that you get inside it, the cargo. So we have the main bulk there, some of the bits. I don't know if that is to do with that, can connect onto that. Some of the thrusters and stuff. Hmm. There's a little bit of tidying up on here. That bit shockingly bad for, for flashing, but this is, what, this is what modelers do. And the other side of the ship there, wing, port side, engines, engine cowlings, some, I don't know what that bit would be, and some other bits. These are probably the doors anyway, but it looks like you've got the hinged parts on there that you would actually could open this easily. So yeah. I mean, the price I paid for this, this was on Amazon. It was a, 
a pretty cheap offer anyway. So I think about 35 English pounds, which isn't bad, which is really quite cheap. So what you get with it in a bad size model. So we'll have that, we'll play with this and we'll get around to making this as soon as we can. Let me just go through the last part of the instruction. I assume this is just like supplementals or um, warnings. Russian, Polish, Czech, Hungarian, Slovakian, Slovenian. Not, oh, do, do not drink, eat or smoke while working with products containing solvents. Yep, you heard it, heard it here first, kids. Okay, <laughs> it's just a warning basically that that solvents are bad, okay, and 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 th uh, things are bad, and and yeah, it's okay, it's fine. So, space shuttle enterprise, which is what I'm going to be doing, but this is settled out, this is sold out as the discovery. There are a couple of different versions, but I'm relatively certain these are exactly the same, what's inside them. So, I'll be making this when I get around to it. So again, thanks for watching. If you want to like and subscribe to the channel, if you want to comment down below if I've done something wrong, if I've done something right, if you want to donate to the channel, please get in touch. If you just want to follow me on social media, if you want to donate an item so I can do a review, make something live on the on the on YouTube, then please get in touch. Other than that, I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.